Greetings, epic adventure seekers. Welcome to your guide to demystifying your world. I'm Allie Bierman, and you're listening to Let's Get Metaphysical, connecting heart and mind. If you've not yet done so, please rate and review our podcast so others can find it. Yours may be the review of the week, shared right here, right now. Here's the review of the week. Daniel Hall says it's a great podcast with an interesting and needed point of view. Helps incorporate the principles of metaphysics to provide benefits in the physical world. Recommend. Thank you, Daniel. That's definitely what we're all about here. Before I jump in, let's take a minute to tell you about the special gift I made just for you. Seriously, I made this gift specifically for you, my epic adventure seekers, as you dive in to new realms, opening your life to new and different experiences. See, if you think that life just happens to you, well, Now's the time to discover your true power and your true control over what goes on in your life. If you continue walking the same path you always walk, well, guess what? You're going to keep winding up at the same old destination. Go on down in the show notes and grab Step in a New Direction because it will gently grant you a new passage in life. So right now, I said I was going to talk with you more about spirit and what is spirit. I want to start with how I got into discovering my spirit. So it's my spirit, my guides, my angels, how to communicate with all of them. See, back in 1996, I was a psychotherapist and I worked in crisis care and sometimes we got some really dangerous clients. So I went into work one night and I was very stressed. You have to be very careful what you think because my male partner wasn't there and instead there was a very young girl substituting. Why did that concern me? Because in the records, I saw that two days earlier, the really dangerous client in the facility had attacked. Back in those days, a copy machine was a full-size thing on the floor. She had attacked it. This was somebody who two weeks earlier had stabbed somebody in the face with a fork. And I was really concerned. And... I put that out of my energy. So you have to be careful what you think, because what you think isn't just about you. It's in your energy going out to everybody around you. Well, she went into a psychotic episode. She cornered and attacked me. She wasn't just dangerous. A little tiny person in that kind of episode is incredibly dangerous. She was three times my size. And when she cornered me, I literally couldn't even move. So she started whacking me in the head. And I realized there are six other people in this facility. I'm responsible for them. And I also need to know she's not going to go through the door and attack our neighbors. It was a residential facility, right? In a residential neighborhood. So because of that, I was able to stay erect when she kept whacking me. Because if I had lost consciousness, I'm positive she would have killed me. So at one point, I noticed as she came back like this, right, with her hand, her hand was enormous. This person weighed over 400 pounds. And as she did that, I, she tilted her body and I scooted past. Thank goodness I was small enough to scoot past. So I wound up with a traumatic brain injury. No such thing as a little traumatic brain injury. They're all really bad. And what it did in my life was you don't see with your eyes. You see with your brain. So I had a brain injury that impacted my whole brain. So basically, I kept my eyes closed almost all the time 
for the next 17 months because having them open made the dizziness unbearable. Plus, everything I was seeing was distorted. I knew they weren't shaped like that. I mean, I'd see a wall and it'd be wiggling or a building that was, I knew it didn't look like that. But the worst, I mean, that's pretty bad. But the worst part was I had no short-term memory. So what does that mean when you have no short-term memory? It means you can't even follow a conversation. It means when somebody starts their sentence, by the time they finish their sentence, you have no idea what they said in the first place. So carry that a step further. I couldn't listen to audios. I couldn't watch videos. So basically, the universe was saying to me, it's time to go within and find out who I really am. That was my introduction to discovering my spirit and discovering who I am in the world and learning how to talk to my spirit, my guides, my angels, and the universe directly. You don't need an intermediary. You can learn to do that yourself. And by the way, if you're interested, send me a message and let me know, and I will teach you. So for three years, I had no short-term memory. This happened one week before my final exams. I was working on my doctorate in psychology at the time. I had no clue. And I opened my book to study. I had a study partner. She didn't quite catch the impact of what happened to me. She wanted me to be able to study with her. And she'd read me something. And I had no idea what it was about. So I went through my life for three years that way. If I went someplace and you gave me directions, I might get there, but I didn't know how to reverse the directions. Anyway, you get the picture. So I spent all that time within. I had been meditating for years before then. Thank goodness I wouldn't even know how to go within but I had to do it in a different way so I could discover what I never knew about me before. So I could discover who my spirit is, who I really, really am in the world. Now, before I go any further, I want to take a quick break and share with you about our sponsor. See, I'm sponsored. This podcast is sponsored by Audible, the largest audiobook company in the world. I've been a member of Audible pretty much since it started way back. I don't even remember how long ago it was. I have very many audiobooks. I love it. And because I'm sponsored by them, I can offer you a free 30 day trial, which means you can go in, look around, you can download an audiobook of your choice. And if you decide to cancel within the 30 day trial, you still get to keep your audiobook. Now, just to throw it out there, I love all kinds of things. I'm somebody addicted to learning. And one of my very, very favorite exciting books is called The Secret Wisdom of Nature. And what I learned in there, among other fascinating facts, is beech trees and Douglas fir, when they drop their seeds, like all, all around their feet, right? So uh, I think it was a hundred foot area. They can tell which of the seedlings coming up are theirs, their children. They will send roots out to feed their children, but not any other seedlings. See, nature is alive. Trees travel. They do all kinds of things. And I just can't recommend this book highly enough. It's fascinating the way the world works. But that's one of my favorite books that I get from Audible. So for you to get a chance 
to experience Audible, it's audibletrial.com forward slash capital A-L-I capital B and that link is also in the show notes. So there I was learning how to get along in the world with these handicaps because those are made your handicaps. I do not recommend this as a way to lose weight. But the first six days, I couldn't walk. I was so dizzy and in so much pain. I couldn't walk from our living room into the kitchen to get myself food. I dropped six pounds. It wasn't six days. It was six pounds in three days and until I finally asked my then husband, please go ahead and make food so I'll have it to eat the next day when you're at work. So I had to learn how to function in the world. I discovered my hearing got really sharp so that if I was pouring myself a glass of water, I could hear the frequency, the pitch level would rise as the water level would rise. I could feel, I could hear, you ready for this one? I could hear when I was walking outdoors, if I was walking by a building or by a tree, airflow would stop, airflow. I was hearing air flowing. Now that's not something you generally are aware of and I hope you never need to have that. My hearing was so keen. Well, the bad part of that was I could hear things that were a block away and it was downright painful. So thank goodness I was able to get help. That's when I got, the universe wanted me to be in the energy realm. And that's how it got me there because the only way I was going to heal and get a life back worth living was to seek out energy healers. And that's what I found. And in fact, many years later, after I resumed my ability to have a short-term memory after my hearing was, it, it was a little bit more doable and all the other things that were out of control. Do you know you process four billion bits of information every second? Well, I did. People with brain injuries do. The thing is, you're not supposed to. You have filters and you don't allow in four billion bits of information every second. I believe that's why people with traumatic brain injuries have such severe exhaustion. Anyway, being in this world led me to a doctor of oriental medicine who discovered this was a few years after, it was quite a few years after that first brain injury. He had a suspicion I had a brain tumor. And what you're about to see is a session that I had after talking with him, an experience that I had after talking with him. And he was the person who recognized hmm, the functioning that I keep losing probably has something to do with a brain tumor. Thank goodness the universe led me to him. Or I might not be here today. So enjoy the next few minutes and I will be back. Spirit. What's your spirit? How's your spirit? What does spirit mean to you? Is it your degree of happiness? Is it seeing how your life is blessed? What's your spirit? How are you doing now? Is your day going ho-hum? Or is it going wow? It's all up to you, how you feel and what you do, moment to moment, day by day, nobody else gets to have a say in your life, this is your life, you are in control, listen to your spirit, your spirit is your soul, it will never steer you wrong, your spirit speaks through your heart, singing a song to carry you forward on your meandering path, it paves the way through moments of strife, it 
gives you all your answers. It shows you the way to make hay. Pay attention, listen to your gut. It's info, it's accurate for truth. It's really all you've got. Wake up, tune in, see the light that surrounds you. The wisdom profound through sight, touch, smell, and sound. Happiness will finally abound when you know your spirit. Your spirit will raise your spirit. So when you know your spirit, your spirit will raise your spirit. You may remember I was talking a few weeks ago with an acupuncturist and he asked me how my spirit was. And to me, spirit means soul. And I went in telling him about how I'm very connected to my spirit and I'm very in tune and the messages that are coming all day long, I tend to get most of them. And he was kind of smiling the whole time because I assume because he's a doctor of oriental medicine that he was talking down that path. Well, after I finished, he just smiled bigger and he said, no, I mean, how do you feel? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you depressed? And I'm like, oh. So what I did here was I took the two different meanings of spirit, one meaning, how are your spirits today? Are you feeling low? Are you feeling ho-hum? Are you feeling high? And the spiritual, more metaphysical meaning of spirit, which is in fact your soul. Your soul is what speaks to you. You might call it your intuition. You might call it your gut. When you get a feeling, when you get a message and you don't know what it means, and you ask, what does that mean? Where is it coming from? You don't get an answer. That's your spirit talking to you. Because it is you, all your past lives, all your future lives, past, present, future knows everything about you will never, ever, ever give you anything but 100% accurate information. So pay attention. Learn how to get so in touch with your spirit that you get all the messages because they come in all kinds of ways. You might be driving down the street and see a billboard that has an answer to a question you've been wondering about. You might be flipping your radio stations and here comes just a snippet of a song and it's your answer. Maybe you're standing in line waiting to make a deposit at the bank and you overhear just a piece of a conversation or maybe somebody's standing someplace in the library and they're holding a book reading it and you catch the title of it and you realize oh maybe that book has my answers it's things that look like coincidence their synchronicity because that's how your spirit works it does the how to make your life rich and full so how is your spirit you see when you're in touch and you're getting all this accurate information for you, you never make decisions that hurt you. That doesn't mean things won't go wrong in your life because sometimes, and you may likely have noticed, that when you're... Uh oh. Oh! Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I thought the computer went to sleep. You may have noticed in your life you do the most growing when something really painful happens for you because it forces you to wake up, pay attention, become someone you've never been, and do things you've never done to be able to get through the situation. Okay, so now I'm back with you. And I thank you so much for coming here and discovering what you might be able to do on your spiritual path and how it can really change your life. I invite you to join our Facebook group, Let's Get Metaphysical with Allie B. And there you will find other people on their physical, on their metaphysical journey. So you can ask all your questions. I go in there frequently. And I put every episode in there. I put other videos and other information helping people understand their spirit and spirituality in the spirit world. You can ask your questions and you can make friends with other people who are also on their spiritual path. So the links for the Facebook group and for 
our website, let's get metaphysical podcast.com, where I post each episode that goes and gets its own personal post, plus all of the podcast episodes are there and some other information too. So it's another place for you to go on your journey. Again, find the show notes and connect with all of us and all these possibilities. I thank you for continuing your adventure, exploring new paths with me and my guests. Next week, I'm talking with Anne Marie Maron, who is all about reclaiming your power. She works her magic in both the corporate world and everyday individual people's worlds.